Hi, this is Peter, and I want to show you three very cool new tools that we've just brought to the market. They're part of our ultimate line of resin tools, and they're named that way because each one is the ultimate solution for removing and alleviating some of the resin pain points. So the three tools we have are the ultimate vat, which is our handy, robust tool for screen cleaning, our ultimate wipe, which is just the perfect spatula for wiping and mixing your resin in your vats and cleaning up afterwards. And the ultimate fun, which is a resin filtering funnel chock full of amazing features specifically for resin filtering and IPA filtering. The ultimate vat is a really handy tool and a great upgrade from using old supports for your screen cleaning process. It's made from a single body die cast aluminum piece with a nice heft to it. The surface has been given by multiple oxidation and anodization process, so it's gonna be resistant of IPA and resins. You could even leave it in your cleaner for days and nothing will happen to it. The bottom has this great little texture to help adhesion of that layer of hardened resin when doing the screen clean. The top has these two handy little handles that are great for lifting it up out of the vat, but also for hanging to drip dry. The idea came from a wonderful friend and collaborator of ours, Charo Zuck, and Wham Bam developed this internally to make it the most useful tool possible. To use it, we just take the ultimate vat and we put it down in a corner. You wanna kinda of use a swirling motion. And then we wanna go in, in the UI, use the tool and do a screen clean, tank clean in this case, and hit start. And then it's going to be exposed in the bottom layer. If you want to, you could add a little bit of pressure if not, the weight of the tool should keep it down. And we wait for the 15 seconds until the screen clean is complete. If you'd like, you can usually hang the vat top on a lot of the different bill plate holders, or you can use a simple 3D printed model to do that. So once the vat cleaning is done, let me shut off the fan so we have less noise. You just wanna lift this up at an angle and peel. And now what we've just done is we've removed everything that was in contact with the bottom of the FEP, doing a real effective FEP clean. Like I said, if you'd like, you could hang that right there and let it drip dry. Okay, once it's sufficiently drip dried, you could just remove it. We like to have a little piece of cardboard or some kind of a tray to catch the drips. Um, and then you could remove the hardened that. If anything stays on the grooves, don't worry about it. You leave that in overnight in IPA and all that's just gonna flake right off because it hasn't been completely cured. And I'm gonna drop it in the cleaning station, come back to that in a couple of hours and just peel off the bottom. The ultimate wipe is so much more than a regular spatula. This was specifically made for cleaning up resin tanks, mixing, filtering, and uh, it's just the ideal tool. The body is made from a co-injected solid polypropylene body. Polypropylene is very resistant to alcohols, and IPAs, resin components. And the blades are made of first grade silicone, nice and soft. We have three different blades. We have the long blade, we have the mixing blade, the perforated blade, and we have the short blade. I'll show you how they're used. To, ch to change them, just pull one out and slide in the next one. You're ready to go, okay. These are sized perfectly to fit all different sized vats and to get into your equipment at just the right angle with the perforated blade. Use this to mix any resins that have been sitting in your printer for a long time. Anything over a day and your resins start to separate and all of a sudden you're going to have a ton of print failures because the resin has separated the colorants sometimes drop down to the bottom or other components race to the top. Um, and the ideal process before printing is to mix your resin in your vat to ensure that it's well mixed. To do that, we want to push down and the soft silicone will not mar or damage your FEP, but it'll get that very bottom layer. And these holes create little vortexes to mix 
the resin. So you can see very well how this is mixing each time. You only need to do a couple of passes to effectively mix all of the resin in your vat. And it works backwards and forwards. And the angle will allow you even to get in if your machine is in a hot box or in a tight place. So if you ever have any hardened pieces of supports or model that are floating around in your resin, they're going to create print failures eventually. So you have two choices. Either you take off the whole vat, filter it through paper filters, and put it back in, or you could use our wipe with a free downloadable 3D printable model. These are our filter baskets. Snap them right in place. And then you can come over here. I'm using this short blade here for this one. And you just want to kind of start in one corner and get that thing moving to try to get any hardened pieces that might be in your resin to flow over the top and into the basket. And in the end, you can see there, We've caught that piece that would have caused a print failure while mixing the resin, and we're ready to print. So the long blade is really amazing for wiping your vats during cleaning. Uh, they'll fit into really small vats. They're amazing for even large Jupiter-sized vats. You can get the whole thing in a very few passes. And I'm going to demonstrate for you on a Saturn how useful this is. So when it's time to empty your resin, you just start to pour it out into your filter. And you could use our ultimate wipe with a long blade to effectively clean in very few passes your whole resin that. One of the best parts is, like I said, all of your parts can just be left in your IPA to clean and pull out when you're ready. So the ultimate fun is chock full of so many great features that you won't find in any other funnel specifically made for filtering resins and IPAs. First of all, the bottom has these fluted columns. This allows air to escape from the resin bottle while you're filling it with resin, so you can have a faster pour. The inside is also fluted. And when using a paper filter, so that the sides do not stick to the sides of the funnel, like so many smooth funnels have, uh, preventing the resin from flowing. This one will give you a really great flow. There are two tabs on the top made to hold paper filters that have the top paper tabs. You have two handles for carrying and transportation. And when you're planning on filtering IPA with very fine paper filters, we actually have a shelf built in and a 3D printable model that you can use with round 110 diameter filter papers, very fine filter papers. And with these, you can get some really high particulate filtering. As you can see, the fluted areas here will permit a very fast pour because it allows the air to escape while that resin is pouring. I don't have to hold back. I could empty a whole vat of resin in there and it will filter thoroughly. Also, the fluted pattern here is keeping the paper filter from cutting off the flow. Okay, and the best part is when it's all done, you could just throw out your paper filter. Wipe down your funnel, and the funnel is totally impervious to resins and to IPA. And since it's foldable, it will even fit right inside of your cleaning station. So you could just turn on your cleaning station, let it clean, and pull it out to drip dry, and you're ready to go. We hope that you have enjoyed seeing our new line of ultimate resin tools and find them as innovative and practical as we do. It's changed the way that we handle maintenance and cleanup in our resin room. We look forward to hearing from you in the comments about how you would use these tools. 
Thank you very much.